Greetings, traveler. You've stumbled across the dark corner of the internet known as Instant Replay Live. On tonight's menu, Super Meat Boy. Which is... It could be today. It could be, like, morning's menu. It could be a little happier. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen, like, a uh, science fiction horror anthology or any kind of, like, spooky setup that was like, This morning, I just mean on this bright sunny day, Because we're monsters. a YouTube show, you could be watching it at literally any time of day. I don't think that's true. So, this could be the middle of the night, or it could be the morning. Um, it doesn't matter. It's, it's your time. You enjoy it whenever you feel. This is our time, down here. <laughs> This is Nick, and Joe is playing my brother. Uh, he's playing my brother. <laughs> uh, as we've all established in the, in the, the canon of our, of our... Yeah, the I'm character not a real of person. my brother is being played by Joe. An actor who he's hired to make his story more believable. Normally, Nick would be playing me. but <laughs> yeah. uh, I've been called out yeah, by, so. uh, by some of our fans. Friends. I don't want to call you fans. That sounds... Ooh, that sounds fans. wrong. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but our friends. You're our friends. That's really what you are first and foremost. And, um, so yeah, some of our, our friends have, uh, pointed out that Joe may not be real. I might have created you entirely whole cloth from, uh, from just doing funny voices and, and my imagination. So, uh, so now we have the actor to fill in and, and play Joe. <laughs> Do I get credits for, like, my work here? Or no, I mean, that cause... would, that would destroy the facade. Uh... Yeah. So we need to talk about something. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do. I haven't already done this before. Yeah. <laughs> Joe is not <laughs> skating through this level effortlessly, having never played it before. We had two episodes in a row <laughs> fail on us for two different reasons. The first is completely not our fault. Our video just didn't record the sound, or our video application, Shadowplay, didn't record the sound for Super Meat Boy. It's a complete fluke. We have no clue what caused it. We'll hope it's, hopefully it's a complete fluke. It's not happening right now. <laughs> um, oh, that'd be great. Oh, it'd be so. At this point, we would just go with it. We would just let our voices yeah. be the only thing that carries it. Um, but uh, we didn't like that. We didn't want you guys to miss out on the sweet metal stylings of Super Meat Boy's music track, plus, you know, all those wonderful squelching noises when, when he gets buzzsawed to death. So Joe played through it again. And on that second playthrough, I completely <laughs> failed. We, uh, we didn't turn on an application that joins our two microphones together. So, all you you got was was game audio and no commentary, and we told some fun stories too, like about how I almost got beat up at Walmart. But no, oh, no one will what, ever get to hear that. What happened with that? No, I, I don't. I don't think we ever tell it again. <laughs> it's just <laughs> instant replay live ephemera. Yeah. Um, and oh, God, uh, that was. And and those those are gone forever. So I'm sorry. Actually, I, I, I will stop teasing, and uh, I'll make the short, super short version, because I, I usually like to tell these stories for Joe's benefit, um, but tell them live so that he can get his reaction for your benefit. Ooh! Uh, yesterday at Walmart, some woman came up to me, and the thing is that she didn't just come up to me. She came up to me way too close. She um, approached me like inside my personal bubble, which made me very uneasy. And she asked me for a dollar in the store, like just down one of the aisles. I was shopping for something, and uh, so I said no. And you really shouldn't be asking for that in Walmart. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Which... What kind of highbrow Walmart shopper are you? I know, you? right? <laughs> like, the no would have been enough, and I could have walked away. But for some reason, I added a tiny little bit of snark. And I don't know. I mean, like, feel like that's the kind of thing that that's the way that story should end, right? There should never be anything left of it because we both walked away. I checked to make sure she didn't, you know, take my wallet or something because she got. Oh, is oh, that the kind of listen? You just keep degrading this person just because this feel better, person don't you? was way too close to me. All right, I feel like if you're gonna ask for something in a public place, you come up and you say, "Hey, um, I'm having a really hard time. This thing happened, and whatever that thing is," and then you. Um, you explain your situation, you say, is there any chance you could lend me a buck? I just need to get a drink or gas or whatever. And as it turned out, it was gas because her husband came and found me in the store later. <laughs> he came at me and he was like, Come at hey, me, bro. I just want you to know, asshole, my wife and I got gas. <laughs> like and, fart gas? Yeah, yeah, They're exactly. Like, I just want bloated. you to know. <laughs> oh, man, I, that is rough. In a Walmart, too. Yeah. Uh, but I was so like blown away by what was happening, like just this disturbing attack on me verbally. Um, I had no like 
I hadn't even put it together with who his wife would be because it just seems so weird. I almost was like, um, I think you have the wrong person. <laughs> but I didn't. I just kind of stood there in shock. And, uh, and then he was something about, you know, you can't talk to my wife that way, you blah, 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 and, you know, other expletives. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh... And other such expletives that you can find in the special edition of Instant Replay Live. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, if you can uncover the deleted audio, you might, you might be able to learn more about this. Um, anyhow, so that's that story. It, it doesn't really go anywhere. He didn't actually attack me. I think if I had said anything back to him, he might have thrown a punch at me, though. Because hmm. dude was ticked, and I have no clue, like... His wife could have told him anything, you know? Like... It, she clearly was not a healthy person. She had... Uh, did I say she had a meth mouth already? I said it in the previous recording. Joe. Yeah, nope. I think I've boned myself, but uh, no, you did not describe her okay. as having a meth mouth yeah, before. Yeah, so like, complete, like, you know, gnarly teeth. Clearly oh. a drug addict, and... So, you never know, with these kind of people, I guess. Now I sound like such a, like, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you really do. <laughs> I mean, but you know, so I had to like, it takes all sorts to, to make a Walmart. Um, oh yeah. And so I had to make a defense. We had one of the, I think I might have shared this before, but we, uh, the Walmart in Marietta where I used to live in Georgia was one of the begging capitals of Walmarts. Oh yeah. And they had to put like police towers out to, to control the begging. Oh, you know what's cool about Walmarts is that they allow um, the homeless to actually stay there or, or you could sleep in your car in their parking lots. Sure. Um, and that's so, I mean, like that's actually a, a cool thing and I don't disparage people just because they're poor, no, obviously. No, no. Like, but I just, this person getting up in my personal space is what completely threw me off. I, I'll give a dollar to a person often, but anyhow, go on with your defense story. Uh, well, so it, it was, I had to come up with a begging defense because there were so many. I like I couldn't possibly. It was nearly every time I went to Walmart. Um, so I would just say ridiculous nonsense like the bunny said what or uh, I'm in my pajamas or you know just something that didn't make any sense that wasn't that wasn't relatable. <laughs> and they would be confused and I would walk away. Uh, and it was just you know. That way I didn't have to say, sorry man, I don't have any because it would make me feel bad. I see. So this is still you being an asshole, actually. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not, not excusing myself. What it, was the defense part? Were you just going for solidarity? Yeah, I was trying to escape. <laughs> so, uh, we're, so now we're now we're both assholes. Yeah, well that's nice. I appreciate yeah that I'm not alone, at least. Uh, didn't you beat this level on a previous recording? No. This, you is, did, actually, this is as far as we got? This is really hard. Okay. We got two minutes to uh, to figure it out. Then. So, anyhow, it was a bad a bad scene. The guy, and also like the brazenness of coming up and getting in my face and yelling at me like with a bunch of other customers around. This dude just didn't care. He was freaking out. I just I, I wonder what was said, like what the other side of that story was, because obviously mine is is you know three sentences were passed. One of them was. Hey, can I have a dollar? Way too close to my face. And then my two were no, period. You really shouldn't ask that in Walmart, period. <laughs> and that's the end of the conversation. Um, it doesn't seem to me that that excuses that kind of rage. You know? Joe was too that focused kind of, to pay attention. That kind of, uh, oh my god, what's his name? Cypher Rage? Oh, really? That's. What excuses Cypher Rage? That's a terrible reference. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I still haven't seen that movie, but part of me wants to. Uh, to, to be like, I, I'm part of the community that watched it, was like, hmm, then here's all the reasons it was so bad. Oh, I can talk about another time. I uh, I don't even remember the movie, honestly. What what was Cypher Rage? Uh, After Earth? What was it called? It was the Will Smith. Oh, right. Yeah, I only watched... I only watched bad reviews of it. <laughs> like, exactly. your movie sucks. I never exactly. even saw the movie, because it... From the trailer, I knew I didn't want to, you know? But it was directed by M. Night Shyamalan, the greatest mind of I, our generation. And and I knew enough from the trailer, I'll tell you. Like, I'm not super anti-Shyamalan. I think he's been downhill for a long time. But um, I'm not completely against him. You can make this in 30 seconds. God, it's, this is a really <laughs> tough jump, though. Nice. Oh, All right, but now you have 20 <gasps> seconds to fill. To beat the next level. All right, cool. Here we go. <laughs> what are you going to do? Um, there was the other time that I almost got beat up that I was going to bring up in relation to that. Um, I've told you this story plenty of times, so this fits, actually, to do two uh, two stories I've already told you before. Uh, 
I think you're gonna have to hit that button right on the end, aren't you? No? Probably. Okay. Alright. Um... So I have an Essence in concert years ago, like 2004, and uh, we waited outside for hours to meet the band, and in particular Amy Lee. <laughs> there you go. Oh, rude. Anyhow, Amy Lee finally comes out hours later, and everybody's been kind of delirious and, you know, um, just kind of on the edge a little bit, I guess, so to, like, um, lighten the mood, I said, like, I'm going to ask her to sign my boob. <laughs> And specifically, it became that I had to ask her to sign my left boob. The crowd was all, like, into it. Mm. So I, I was like, all right, yeah, I'll ask. I just see a crowd of, like, people licking their lips, just going, oh, <laughs> Ew, I'm into that. Sign that left boob. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not that into it. I, they just thought it was funny, obviously. And I was obviously one who wanted to, you know, earn the laughs. So I, uh, <laughs> Amy came out, and everybody's asking her to sign T-shirts and stuff. And I, I get up to her, and I'm like, hey, would you, um, would you sign my left breast? <laughs> and her bodyguard, I've never seen a dude move so quick to put himself between two people. But he jumped in my face. <laughs> kind of, you know, got her back. And he's like, hey, man, you can't ask her that. You can't ask her that. <laughs> I was just like, oh, it was a joke. It was a joke. This dude wanted to destroy me so bad. And, uh, alright, well, Joe, unless you think you can get this right now... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, Nick? <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll carry on more Meat Boy and more stories next time on Instant Replay Live. More meat, more stories, more Instant Replay Live. Sign by, sign by for later. We can use it. Bow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.